Now, it's been a long old time since we've done like a blue sky painting. So let's do a blue sky and we're gonna leave a lot of room for clouds. So we need to decide where our blue is. We don't, actually don't even need a whole lot of paint to paint this sky. It's gonna be blue and black, okay? We're gonna come in here. Let's show you what colors we have first. Uh, cat yellow, bright red, dark sienna, thalo blue, alizarin crimson, midnight black, titanium white on our palette. And uh, pulled out a little bit of the thalo blue in here. We, again, we don't need a whole lot. So let's just dump in a little bit. And with this liquid white, it's gonna kind of pull itself away and blend away. We wanna have a sort of dark underneath there. And then we're gonna work it away. And again, I wanna have this giant section of big clouds. So a little bit up like that, a little smiley face onto our canvas, right? And then we can start to blend it when we go to do that. We're gonna pull a little bit of that black out, just straight up black, mix it right with the blue, right on our brush. And we're gonna come in from the top. Oh, look at the difference. It's like stormy up here. Stormy Daniels up here. Always cover the sides. It only takes a few minutes, not even a few minutes, a few seconds, right? Dab the sides, dab the top, cover them, get them nice and, and covered. And it helps if you prep the sides with your Bob Ross liquid white as well. In this case, we didn't. So it takes a few more little dabs in order to get it there. All right, come back, get a little bit more black because I want this one nice and dark and stormy. Stormy, stormy. Ooh, there's a good section of black right there. Big, deep, dark bits. They're gonna mix down into our clouds. They're gonna pro provide a whole backdrop of color. Blend in, it'll be fantastic. A little bit of the black down underneath. And then we'll take our blue, kind of throw it in from the side. Maybe we'll do like a Bob Rossi type watery scene. A little bit of black down here on the bottom. Just to change the color a little bit. That's all we need. Don't need to change it a whole lot. Just gotta change it a little bit. We haven't even blended anything in yet. Come over here, bam, 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 bam. Leaving this little soft little area in the middle, maybe we'll do something with that later. Okay, now that we've got this nice, filthy, dirty brush, it's gonna spread the paint all too far, right? We don't wanna, we don't wanna spread the paint everywhere. So we're gonna clean this brush off. It'll be nice and light again. It won't actually push the paint too far. So relaxed today, we almost, told, almost forgot to tell you the colors. My goodness, Josh is just so relaxed on camera. It's amazing, right? Okay. Now, where do we really start? I normally like to start blending in a light area, but there's not a whole lot of light area besides this white. So let's very lightly drag in just from the edge, kind of more in the white than anything else, just to soften the very edge, right? Just so we can get this light section out. It's almost like a bit of fog, look at that. Stretching it out, just making it light and soft. Oh, a little bit of color snuck in right there. See that, that's okay. That's all right, it'll provide some depthy shadows. And we can do this, a little, bit, a little bit of circle action. If it's a little too thick, look, all those little circles will provide some cool little bits of shadow as well. Never has to be this perfect white thing. You can have a bit of color in there. The main thing is if we were to cover the whole painting in all this thick paint and then try to paint a nice, pretty, beautiful white cloud, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. Okay, now we're out here into our sky, right? We gotta really blend. Don't wanna have any big, thick areas. Don't want to have any real long streaks or big areas of real hard amount of color like this bit right here, but we're going to use that as the bottom of a shadow. So up in here, just blending. The more and more we mix with all this white that's on the canvas, the more it's going to change all of our dark colors into something much lighter. So if you want to keep it nice and dark, don't overly mix it. There we go. If you want it to get nice and light, then mix the heck out of it. And then you'll have this nice, crazy light sky. It'll be gorgeous. There we go, nice and soft across the, uh, across the middle. And poof, we got this very cool thing. All that darkness underneath that cloud already looks like a cool shadow. You know what's a little bit off right here though? Just that bit of angle. So let's blend this in a little bit more. My shaky old canvas or my shaky old easel. There we go. Now it just blends it together a little bit better, right? Less streakiness. Sometimes it's cool to have streaks in our sky. But in this instance, I don't want to have too many streaks. Bam, 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 and all of a sudden, look, we can go back and forth across the whole thing. Nice and light. Not really spread too much paint anywhere. And then we can come back into that light area, and oh, you don't even have to paint a cloud. It's already there. There's your cloud. Nice big white fat cloud. But over here at Paint with Josh, we'd like to do cool little things. So let's add some depth and 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 cool bits to our cloud. As my white is running, I normally 
don't have runny white, but this can, uh, this tube of Windsor that I bought already has like three holes in the tube, which is very irritating. And I might have to take it back to Michael's and see what they can do. And it's very runny. So it just depends on the tube. You know what I mean? People are like, oh, what brand is the best? It's all about the tube you get and how that tube's been treated and, uh, you know, how long it's sat on the shelf, how many little kinks it's had in it. It's all a bunch of variables, right? It's all a bunch of variables. It's never the same for everybody. We're gonna come into our white, and let's say there's like a cool shape off into our cloud over here. This is where we can start to blend. You can, you can even take and pick up color and bring it inside our cloud to create these cool little shadows and different bits, different things. Come back, grab a little bit more of that white. Maybe come up here, throw a cool little bit off into the cloud, take some of that shadowy color, bring it down, mess it around. See what happens, see what it starts to look like. You're like, Josh, it looks like a total mess. Right? No, it won't. Just blend it in with these cool little bits, all these little differences in color, these gorgeous little things, and all of a sudden our cloud is starting to come to life. Starting to come to life. All right, and we're gonna work it down in layers. We got our top layer down. Looks very cool off in the distance. You can even take a bit of, of darker color onto our brush, a little bit of blue, a little bit of black. And maybe say there's a bit of cloud that worked its way up inside here. Just all messily and crazy like. Come back to our little one inch brush, take that and make it soft. Nice, soft little bits of cloud. And all of a sudden we start seeing cool little things start to happen. Switch back to our white brush, right over here. Come back in, pop little bits into there. Work them in, see what they look like. Get these cool little things on top of all that little blue shadow that we just put in. It starts to end up looking really neat. The more and more you do it, the more do you have these cool little little differences, right? Let's go back to that dark brush. Maybe pull it over here. It'd be cool if we could just tape these together. I had that, I did that idea earlier in the uh, that three minute painting deal. It was fun though. You can take a little bit of the dark. Maybe we got a dark bottom to this guy and he starts to form his way off into the distance, right? Create some depth just off the bottom of it. Just by pulling to the side, mixing it nice and lightly. Don't want to over mix it because then it's going to mix in with the color that's down below, right? And look, all of a sudden there's this really cool thing down here where maybe there's a bit of far further away cloud or closer cloud, just lower. Just beneath this guy. Look at all the blue we just picked up, right? You got to have a fair amount on there because it's gonna to wanna to mix in with that blue. As soon as we start doing this, so you gotta be very light, very gentle. Gentle, gentle, gentle giant right here. The more and more you mix that guy, the more he's gonna to wanna to disappear. See what I mean? You can swipe to the side, you can swipe him up, you can do all sorts of things. Depends on what you want it to look like. All right, well, however you want yours to look like. Got another little cool bit of cloud underneath this cloud that's forming right here, which we're not even done with. Let's go back and a little bit more of the blue, a little bit more of the black. Say there's another section, I don't know, maybe underneath here. And just see what it looks like. Put it in there, mix it up. If it looks cool, keep going. If it doesn't, you can go, okay, well, what, what do I do now to, to make it look cool? How else do we do this? How's it, what's it gonna look like if I do that over there? And then we come back with some white on top of that. We go, okay, maybe there's a bit over here over this shape. There's a bit of light in front of that area. Kind of dab in some things over here. Come back with our little brush, very lightly, very softly, very gently. Not overdoing it, not covering all of the shadows, not doing too much, right? You don't want to do too much. Do too much and then it just doesn't look like it's supposed to. Take a little bit of that dark color too. Maybe this guy lives in front of this other cloud just by putting a little bit of dark shadow underneath him. Gives the effect that he's now floating out in front of that bigger cloud out there. All right, let's work this guy a little bit darker. A little bit darker things, cooler things, not losing all of that white that's back there. That's our big, our big giant storm section, right? This is our detail section. That's our, our kind of wide shot. Wide shot, detail. Let's go back in with that white brush. Can't tell which one's the white brush and which one's the dark brush anymore. Come over here and pop in just a few little things and then just kind of build what you want your cloud to look like, but don't cover all of that little uh, shadow that we put in. 
That's the key. Very lightly going over it. Very light, very light. Take that guy, flatten him. You wanna have him flat. You don't wanna have any texture or anything up there like that. Nice, soft, far away, a little bit of cloud with some detail on him as well. All right, maybe say, which one's this white one again? Okay, there's a, let's say there's another cloud right there. A little bit of blue, a little bit of black, and poof, we'll pop something else in over here just to, to take away, you know, you could even pop your mountain in right there. It wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. Again, make it soft. You have to make it soft, but don't lose all the little white behind there. That's part of the, part of that bigger storm. Maybe this is connected to this cloud here, and we start to bring it in and you start to make it up as you go. And you go, oh, that looks kind of neat if we do that, or if these are a little bit brighter. So I add a little bit more paint in different sections. And then we'll come in. And there is no designated shape to a cloud, right? We've said that. We've said that many, many, many times. You look up at the sky, is it ever the same clouds? No, never. You might see similar clouds, never gonna be exactly the same. It's just like a painting. You try to do a painting again, never gonna be exactly the same as you did it before. Always going to be something that you see, or at least something when I paint that I see and I go, oh, this looks cool. Like it, it would look better than the first one if we did this or if we did that. All right, let's come up here and add another. We'll add a little top bit, a little section of dark. Maybe there's a bottom of a cloud up here. Just because the, the transition wasn't as clean as it looked. It didn't look as clean to me as it should have. All right, so, oh, now we got a little piece of blue sky that popped in around all these clouds. That's kind of neat. It's almost disconnected. Can we get any more of that blue sky color to come over here and just take that cloud all the way out? Oh, there's a disconnection right there. That's very cool. Very cool. A little bit of darkness at the top of this guy. Maybe we could use a few more little white areas out here as it starts to get up into that dark, dark area stormy area of our clouds, like just little things, just little differences. One more little thing might make your painting look that much, even that much better. Uh, there's another little guy back here, right? Maybe he's connected again. It's always gonna look like a mess until you soften it. And then you go, ooh, that actually looks really neat. Okay, what if we do like a little bit of a cloud, but not covering all the shadows thing, disconnected. Okay, we'll cover it there. And then we'll pop it in and then we'll come down. We'll see what it looks like. We have this gorgeous little sky. Look at this sky. By not covering everything, look at all the movement in this sky. It's literally everywhere. All these clouds are doing different things. It's fantastic. So much depth and distance in that cloud. And all it is is a mess, right? You watch me do it. You watch me literally make a mess. We made a mess and look what it turned into. All these gorgeous little things. And the more and more you see, the more and more you do the cooler it ends up looking until you get to a certain point where you might do too much, right? So never go too far. Never go too far. Flatten that guy down, flatten all these guys down. Look at this, go across the whole sky. Start at the bottom, lightly across the whole thing, and all we're doing is just flattening down the paint, taking any raised area and lowering it down. Get this very cool little storm happening back there. Very cool little storm. And the more and more you mix, the more and more you can change. And, and that color will kind of blend away to the color of the actual sky and change the whole look of your paint. It'll be really cool. But those are very neat. Very neat little clouds. Now, let's wash these brushes off and then we'll get to painting a big old giant mountain.